Good morning, good morning. How are you? I hope everyone's good. Let's do, I, I just wanted to do um, a, a quick reading and you know what's ironic? I guess Sunday vibes, not I guess, it's, it's definitely Sunday vibes, but like um, I've actually been doing those for you. I'm not going to say get used to them. <laughs> I almost said LOL to you guys, but like, I was like, let's, let's, okay, so, new deck that I kind of felt like driven to go get, I don't know what it was, I just kind of woke up and was like, all right, let, let's hit Bonds and Noble and see what they got, so, this is the Raven's Tarot, and I kind of feel like it's, it's convenient because... We were talking about ravens and blackbirds um, the other day and how it was odd that one came swooped down. And I assumed it was <clears throat> a crow and it could be a raven, you know. So it's just the first thing I thought of when I, I grabbed it because I was just looking for a completely different deck. And, um, I wasn't even looking for this style per se, but... Let's, let's see. Let's see what we get from it. Let's do one more. So I saged it. I'm not going to do reversals just because it's a new deck. So I feel like I'm just going to like do three. All right. So let me, let me try to feel it more than, um, cause I can feel it physically, but That was that was simple. It actually brought me to a raven, and not because it's Raven Tarot. So whoever created this deck, big on ravens for shorties. Okay, is this working? My recording. Yep. Okay. So we have the Eight of Swords. There's definitely a link between you and somebody. This is screaming at me. Um, you know, obviously, Eight of Swords talks about restriction, but this is, to me, it's exterior energy, like someone holding you down, you know, not... <coughs> Bless me. Thank you. Not necessarily, like your own, your own self. So I, you know, I don't know if there's, there's children involved here. Definitely exterior energy with this Eight of Swords. Um, it's ironic because at the bottom of the deck is the Magician and it's another hand. I, this, well, there could be a lot of hands in this deck, guys. I don't, I don't know. All right, but like, it's almost like there's that hand, you know, the left and the right, right and the left, however you want to put it, you know, but it's... Ugh. It almost looks like it's the magician's hand holding it. Huh. But I definitely feel like this is not self reflection, uh, not reflection, um, restriction. Just the hand itself is almost like somebody else is kind of like, you got the best of your thoughts right now, but like, you're not restricted. You got to look at something, you know. I feel like whatever situation you're in, you feel like, I'm never going to get out of this. It's, it's something. I don't know. Look at something with more color, you know. Um, like you are and you're not. It's like a different type of color. What else? What else? What else can I look at? So exterior restriction for sure. I don't know, like just feeling bogged down, you know, we got the full, you know, leap of faith. But to me, it's like she's singing, I got the whole world in my hands. I got the whole world in my hands. And it's like a, an eclipse. There's, there's something. 
I'm gonna have to look at this deck because um right now is to me is is hands. <laughs> I got the whole world in hands. So it's like you have a chance. See, that's just it. To me, it's like saying I want this. To me, it's like saying you have a chance to escape. Like you have an opportunity. Take a leap of faith. That's just somebody else's thoughts bogging you down. Something like that, you know. And now you get another eight, so eighty-eight. Um, so this is a message. It can be universal. It could be a lot of people look at these as Cupid's arrows, but I'm looking at this like a, a hunter. Um, so what I'm going to look up the 88 for you super quick. But there, there's still something that's not coming together because there's a hole in between, okay? So the number 88 is the vibration associated with material abundance, prosperity, wealth, okay? Also suggest you're on the, on the cusp of a prosperous and a abundant spiritual life. So I, you know, I, I want you to look this up too because we can obviously look at things in, in a different ways, okay? Um... It, it is really linked to money. I knew it was linked to money, but I also know it's linked to other things. So I, I guess what this is kind of telling me, it'd be a more spiritual opportunity because the arrows are actually coming this way. They're kind of like back and forth, right? So it's almost like, yeah, there's an opportunity coming. But if somebody doesn't free themselves from some type of restriction, that opportunity will be missed. And I, I want you to look at this read as in... You, like as in yourself, restricting yourself. Like remember how we talked about like clearing out your vision board? You know, it, it's that type of energy. Clear out your vision board because you can't have this type of bog down in, in order to, to where it is you're going. You know, the passion, the desire, I'm staring at the fire, you know. Um, someone has an obsession with hot cars, not hot wheels. Not like the little wee, like the, the back in the day, like, what do you call those hot rods? I see hot rod flame there. But, or maybe it's just saying, you know, it's, it's time to, for you to have that adrenaline like that too, that, you know, people who love the hot rods, I mean, they were all about the cars. What do you call them? Was that like a big muscle thing or was it a muscle car? I don't know. Tell me about the eight of swords real quick. So that's what it's saying to me, you know, that there's an opportunity for a journey, um, opportunity to get your passion back. Um, but to me, honestly, this is your vision board. And I also think that there is a situation where some of you do feel restricted with whatever situation you're in for sure. And here comes this new opportunity. And you can't go on this path, this journey until whatever this is is worked out. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. So, vision board, okay? Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords. And 88 is a big message. Um, I also want you to, at the end of this video, well, when it's uploaded, look at the number and look it up, numerology. You know, zero through nine, what is it? Maybe one through nine, you know, but for the length of the video. This is gonna be an important message there. You know, it's probably about release you'll probably end up with like a five or a three or a one either a one a two a three or a five probably probably i'm not positive and we got the nine of wands you know so look at all this fire this is some fast energy okay this is this is the release like your fireball is it's your own power your own magic all right and it's like we do got the dark and look at it it's hands again and it's swords and wands so there's something with the hands. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's releasing your own power, releasing your own magic, releasing whatever it is that possibly can hold you back. Like it's that, it's that last fight, you know, um, and it hurts, it burns, whatever it is. But I'm telling you, in order to get to this, to that fire, you know, to me it's creating this vision board you definitely got an opportunity coming, okay, for a new direction, big, small, but you you have to release this, and, and it's a fight, so 
you know, my best advice is, would be try to release this now if you can. If not, it's going to be incredibly hard for this new journey. And you might go anyway, and it's going to be difficult. But, um, but if you're feeling restricted, I, I don't see you going. See what I'm saying? So it, it's a fight, but it, it's your fight. All right, so please, with the vision board, and at the bottom of the deck, look at that, the nine of swords. You got two eights and two nines, but look at more hands. You know, it's like you have someone who's passed over too, or an ancestor that, that's helping you. And But it's like whatever this darkness is too, because I'm not looking that it's creepy. I'm just, you know, it's, it's the nine of swords, it's anxiety, it's fear. You probably have a little past life aggression going on, but um, look at it's like, but you can release this. Look at the color, look at the color, like you can release this. You got all hands that, that that's telling me is you got somebody out there that can help, or, or it's just it's you releasing, release, let it go, find the magic in your hands, the, the power that a hand has. You know, um, we take the hand for granted guys if we didn't have hands you know wouldn't be able to work we wouldn't be able to drive it's little things like that creating your own power again a, a beautiful beautiful vision board okay the the 99 and there's two hands here and there's two hands here and i know the meaning of the 99 is is, is that whole love thing where um love until it hurts what is it saying love until it hurts they won't hurt you i found the paradox where you love until it hurts there can be no more hurt. There can be only love. Okay, so we do, it, it, it's the spirit trying to align you to love and, and not thinking of the hurt, not thinking of your own thoughts getting the best of you, restricting you, not letting fear get the best of you, fighting through whatever it is that you need to fight to to get to where you need to be because it's here. And it could just be given to you versus releasing first so it's given. It could be given and then it's like, you're holding on to it. Do I do it? Do I not do it? Because you haven't released something yet. You know, but find find the magic. I, with these hands, it's, it's something about the magic in the hands, guys. It, it's, it's powerful. I don't know if there's somebody in the picture. And once you guys touch hands, you know, because here it's like, yeah, you know, it, it's so, like, you feel restricted, so I don't know what the exterior energy is. But here it's like, here they're out. Here they're, they're so close. They're so close to, like, intertwining. It's something like that, too. All right, so this is all about, um, uh, you know, leap of faith. Faith. Religion, spirituality, how, however it is you want to look at it. Because to me, that's, to me, it's a message from the ethers. But to me, that's not a text message from somebody. That's, you know, that's a journey. It's a powerful new beginning you creating something with your own hands mind set it, setting your your mind free letting your hands do the work you know even maybe start writing um tell me about the eight of wands so it's either you need to release before you can have a new opportunity or it's the opportunity is here but regardless you still need to release okay so it really just depends and you got justice so yeah this is this is, what a beautiful card. This is the universe. This is a journey. Justifying. Good karma. It's this beautiful, great karma, guys. A lot of people look at karma as being what goes around, comes around, and as like in a bad thing. That's a beautiful thing, too. Especially if you're extending your hand to help. You know what I mean, jelly beans? This is not a bad karma. This is... It's beautiful. So, and another hand at the bottom of the deck. But, like, see, there's, there's another hand. But there's not, like, too many hands. So, it, it's, it's kind of crazy. There's another one. I don't know if you can see these great. But, like, all right, so there's a hand thing. But look at all the, look at all the cards. There's definitely more cards without hands than there are hands. So, there's definitely a hand thing going on here. You know, it's just releasing your own magic. It's you creating, even though your brain creates first, but you, you need your hands to, to be part of the job. You know what I mean? You, they all need to function together. So, 
whatever it is you think's restricting you. Try try your best to work on it. Okay. Um. I was hoping for for better vibes, but they're not horrible vibes. It's it's awareness for sure. You know, you do have this fresh start, which this type of energy is amazing because it's it's also like that childlike energy. It's feeling set free, liberated, like willing to take a risk. It's it's like jumping off a cliff, the adrenaline run for people for people, you know, or, or driving fast with the heart. It's just like in a it's it's all about passion too. Adrenaline rush in it. So sometimes you can make foolish moves, but that's that's not what this is. This is this is a beautiful new journey for you guys. But I, I I'm kind of seeing you guys very apprehensive about releasing, you know, because it's like yeah, it, this is legitimately allowing somebody else, somebody else's thoughts. It's not you holding your wrist. I mean, it could be, but I'm not looking at it like that. See what I'm saying? Like, this is somebody else's thoughts bogging you down. You know, fighting for what it is. It's, you know, with the two nines. Two nines and an eight, you know. Don't be surprised if this comes up as an eight or a nine, too. So it's it's even more amplified. So... It's the anxiety, but fighting through this, fighting through whatever your thoughts right now are bogging you down with. It's like, oh my gosh, don't, don't, don't try to get out of that. Create a vision board. Do your best because it's, it's, it's mental. You know, even if it's, it's good thoughts, it's, it's overpowering the new journey. See what I'm saying? Let me just see what the fool is trying to represent real quick. <clears throat> Hold on, let me just check check my text messages because I have kids in now. Okay, so it's not it's not any of my chick ones. Um, this fell out, but I wasn't ready for it. But it, they knew what I was going for. So holy hand again, ten of swords. All right, so it, it's like whatever you're holding on to is dead anyway. It's that feeling of feeling betrayed, or it's just dead. It's blocked. It's gone. But it's 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 over dead. It's dead kill, road kill. Yeah, like it's it's dead. It's a skeleton. This you know, like this is something that's been being held on for too long. Way too long. Which could be, you know, family conditioning something within the family. I'm I'm not quite sure, but holy cow, you know, it's like man. The ten is it's also a one. But you gotta, wow. Whatever you're holding on to, it, it's, it's dead. It, it, it's, it's like, why are you holding on to it, my little beauties? Why? Why? It's over. Whatever this is, it's, whether it's a thought, a person, a place, like, don't let it get the best of you. Don't bring that on your new journey either because it won't be successful. But I, I'm not looking at it like that. I'm looking at it. You most definitely need to release something. You got the eight of cups too. Like, let it go into the ethers. Walk towards your happy. Because this right here is, is, is not happy. But we kind of figured that out already. You got this beautiful new. Beautiful new journey. That looks like it's going to be tough. Because it's right now you're not grounded. The scales aren't, you know, symmetrical. But it's just. <sighs> you can do it. Life's not always easy. But, um. If you're willing to embrace it, you got a beautiful new opportunity coming your way. Okay. So this is that energy you just you don't hold on to. Even if you feel betrayed. Triple A is guys. You know. You're aware of it, clearly. Not really accepting it though, okay? You have to accept this before you can take action. So you're only at your two. You're stuck in the middle with the triple A's, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're clearly aware of it. Accept it now. you got to accept whatever this is. It should be buried. It shouldn't even be dug up again. Find a way to release this yourself. Yourself, release it. 
accept what's happening, take action on it. Even if you're not ready, tell someone you're not ready, whatever the case may be. Yourself, a guide, it doesn't have to be someone else. You know, but this is telling me at your 10, the guides, your guides, your angels, whoever this is, loved ones, the universe, the planets, the stars, the sky, the water, wind, fire, earth, water. They're saying you're ready. This is dead. This is dead. Dead and gone. That song. Dead and gone. The universe is giving you a brand new opportunity. And yeah, it's not, it's not going to be an easy ride, but... It's being given, and you have an opportunity to, to start fresh, ground yourself, a new area of study, life, passion, whatever it is you're going towards, okay? But you got to go towards it. To me, this is mental. It's, it's you. It's your own thoughts towards something. Clear the vision board. Wipe the slate. Clean. I think a lot of people, yeah, we're wiping it. It's, it's chalky. It's green. It's dusty. So let's start. Let's start with vision boards. Okay. It's white. It's clear. New vision board, okay? So you can have this. This good karma. I love you guys so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.